Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Welcome once again to our ongoing discussion, Eternity in the Heart of Men. We've been talking about eternity to eternity. The Lord reigns. He created and made all things beautiful and according to his plan and purpose. Also, he set eternity in the human heart. The Lord dwells in the high and holy place. It is the Lord who reigns and the Lord who made all things, things in his kingdom, the kingdom that is known, known from eternity. Mankind needs to seek and know knowledge about God and his plan for mankind. Mankind needs to call upon the Lord so as to have access to the eternal kingdom of God in heaven. Man needs to seek God's kingdom and his righteousness. We were talking about the Lord who reigns, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. Indeed, the world is established firm and secure. His holy throne was established long ago. He is from all eternity. The seas have lifted up the Lord. The seas are, have lifted up their voice. The seas have lifted up their pounding waves. According to the book of Psalm, the book of Psalm 93 verses 1 to 3. The Holy Bible, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, we have seen God giving a burden. He has laid a burden on the human race. He has made everything beautiful in its time. The Lord has also set eternity in the hearts of men. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart, yet no human heart can perceive, no one can understand what God has done from the beginning to the end. The beginning and end is something to do with the creation that took place when the earth was formed, the earth was created at the beginning of time. Anything that has a beginning must have an end whatever that has no beginning has no end the bible talks about the alpha and the omega the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end to do with the beginning the creation that god did when he stretched forth the heavens to the earth when God created the earth, he stretched forth the heavens and created the earth. That is where mankind was created and placed and was given dominion and authority over all creation that God created and placed on 
The Bible in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 talking about the burden God has laid on the human race. God has made everything beautiful in its time. He has set eternity in the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. He says, I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live on this earth. God lives in heaven in the high and lofty place. He inhabits eternity. The book of Isaiah chapter 57 says, For thus says the high and the lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. He is holy. Isaiah says, I dwell with him who has a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. God created mankind according to his plan. He created humanity and he has a plan and purpose for every creation, every mankind that he has brought forth into this earth. God's plan for mankind is clearly outlined in the Holy Scriptures. We therefore need to read through the Holy Bible and to see this plan. We also need to ask the Holy Spirit to guide us through as we read the scriptures to see the plan that God has for mankind. Mankind was created to be king over the kingdom of God on earth. But man lost the kingdom when he sinned, and he lost the kingdom that was stolen by Satan the thief. Therefore, humanity lost the kingdom, the kingdom that has been restored back by the Lord Jesus Christ. And God's kingdom in heaven one day will be one kingdom with the kingdom of light here on earth. On earth here we currently have the kingdom of darkness, the original kingdom that was created and given to the first Adam that was lost and now ruled by Satan. Therefore, the kingdom of light exists on earth and any saved mankind, any saved soul needs to stay in the kingdom of light. The kingdom of light which is the kingdom of heaven. We read the scriptures Matthew 6 verse 33 talking about seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And also the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 that talks about God creating 
the human race and setting eternity in the human heart. Therefore, humanity has the greatest desire that is to become saved. To become saved means that someone has to come out of the kingdom of darkness that is ruled by the prince of darkness, Satan, and move into the kingdom of light that is ruled by Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came and died to redeem humanity from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light which is part of the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, humanity's greatest desire, his greatest need is in their hearts as they surrender their hearts to the Lord Jesus Christ. He becomes a savior and lord of their life. They become co-heirs of the kingdom of light, the kingdom of God. Therefore, we need to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. We'll be back shortly as we will continue talking about eternity being in the hearts of mankind. God creating mankind according to his plan. He has a plan and purpose for mankind and this plan of God is to restore mankind back into the kingdom he created at the beginning of time. Say bless and shalom. <laughs>